In this video, I am going to show you how to make this beautiful letterhead. This is yet another letterhead design on this channel. So to create this letterhead, I will show you how to insert your logo and also insert some two shapes for the banner I have down here. I will also show you how I use shapes to get the footer of the letterhead. And finally show you how I will insert text boxes for my text in here. So if you want to learn how to make this beautiful letterhead, keep watching. Hello guys, if you are new to this channel, this is Online Office Teacher, where I help you manage your data and information through online video just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. So in today's video, I am going to show you how to make this beautiful letterhead. That said, let's jump into the video. I haven't launched Word. I go over to Insert, Pictures, this device. I go to the desktop. I have my logo there. There it is. I select it, then insert. My logo is inserted, but it will be difficult for me to move it from one place to the other. So I select it under Picture Tools, Format. Then I go to Wrap Text and click on In Front of Text. With this, I will be able to move it from one place to the other. So I place it up here and it is centered. When you see this green dotted line appear, that means your logo is centered. So I release. Next, I go to insert shapes. I choose a line. Then I draw a line. If I want to get a perfect line, I hold down shift key on the keyboard. The line is straight. Even if I try to go down, the line is static now. So I want the left side and the right side to be the same. It doesn't really have to be perfect. This side I want, I release the mouse and then release shift. Now change the color of the line to black and also increase the outline a bit. So from half, I want to make it one. Okay. Now I go back to insert shapes. I pick the line again. Then I want to draw another line, a short one. I hold down shift to get a straight line. Okay, this side is okay. I change the color to black. And then the width, I make it four and a half. Now I'll click and drag small to center it. I've seen the green dotted lines in it is centered. I take it up and place it on the first line i click aside i want to make sure it is in the middle of that line click back on it use the arrow key once to move it up i think this is perfect i can zoom in to see it clearly okay perfect i zoom out now i want to change the color of this thick line here to a gold color like what i have on my logo so it is selected i go to format under drawing tools then i go to shape outline i think this is close it is good i click on it perfect now scroll down to the bottom part of my letterhead now i want to insert a footer i go to insert shapes i grab the rectangle then I draw a rectangle here. I'll reduce the height a bit. I'll open here to go inside. Okay. I go down a bit. Now I remove the outline. I don't need it. Shape outline. No outline. Then I want to fill the color with the gold color. Next, I duplicate this rectangle it is selected i press ctrl d on the keyboard the duplicated one is still selected in here let me drag it up then i go to shape fill and i choose black now i want to place it back on the gold rectangle 
just like that and i don't want their height to be the same okay so the black is higher than the gold let me hide this side a bit by using my left arrow key okay perfect now let me zoom out so that i'll see the whole document in one view perfect i think this is cool now i want to insert a text box here for the address so i go to insert text box and i draw my own text box right there so i'll say phone enter email enter i don't want the email to change to a link so after pressing enter you can just click on undo command to remove the link and location online office teacher at changli perfect i want to reduce the height of the text box more i want the location part to fall on the black background here so let me further reduce it down okay i think it is right there now i highlight everything go to home align right then let me take out the fill and the outline so i go to format under drawing tools shape fill no fill shape outline no outline however it will be difficult to see the location now so i'll just highlight it starting from here you have to use your technical eye then i change the color at home to white i highlight everything again and i make them bold this is how i want it okay let me add my town to the location so tamale perfect click aside to view it perfect next i insert another text box draw text box this one will take care of the recipient address so who am i writing to mr sokolo abu enter he is the future director of Diku pages so i'll say future director enter that's it i reduce the height of the text box now remove the fill and the outline just click on them i've already used them so no out no fill and no outline are still active that's it i can bold the name after highlighting i just click on bold here he's the future director let me add his name to the dictionary so that the next time i type it to underline right next i insert another text box for dates draw text box right here and i want to insert an automated date so that anytime the letterhead is opened the current date will be inserted so i go to insert date and time i choose the date format i want um i'll say this then update automatically it should be checked and i click on ok so the date is inserted that is today's date boom then align right i will make it bold i can just select the text box then click on bold now reduce the text box i'll go to format under drawing tools remove the outline and the fill i think i can take it up a bit all right perfect next i insert the final text box for the main content of the letterhead and i draw a text box maybe up to this point i will get a random text and i don't need this much i take it out enter okay i'll go back sincerely yours comma enter twice equal pages enter then 
director so i bold the writer's name up it will increase the size to 14 so that it will stand out all right now let me take off the outline i go to shape outline no outline perfect so my letterhead is set so that is it this is yet another letterhead design you can pick this style and customize it the way you want fill in your colors and you are good to go i hope you found value if you did please hit the like button subscribe and also enable the notification bell so that each time i post a new video on this channel just like this one you'll be the first to know keep watching and we will talk soon